The Namibian Broadcasting Corporation's head of news and current affairs says the best way to combat fake news is to ensure that local media maintains the highest level of professionalism. So for as long as you stick to the facts, as long as you remain impartial, nothing will go wrong. But when you try, to, when you start to play around with your facts, you start to uh, create stories and people lose trust in you, you lose your credibility. Chairperson of the Editors Forum of Namibia, Joseph A. Longa, agrees. Um, as we speak, we've got so many uh, fake news articles that are floating around. Uh, in, in a world of this nature, information, this is the information error. And the information error um, dictates that we, we, we make sure that our information is, is truthful and accurate. Um, and, 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 and once you run with your ethics and your principles, people trust you for that. The NBC's head of news and current affairs further urged government and private institutions to be more open to the media and respond timely and truthfully to journalists' requests for answers. The challenge, however, remains in keeping up with the constant changes in the way information is disseminated. We don't have to be everywhere to source for news. Uh, news can be sourced from the communities, uh, from individuals, from ordinary citizens. So we have to embrace the new technology and we have to um, uh, brace ourselves for tough competitions <laughs> yet to come. Uh, and yeah, because I think that's the future of journalism. Ailonga says the main challenge currently faced by the media is the demand for more media freedoms on one side vis-a-vis -vis government's calls for more regulations. This, he says, has negatively affected the country's international ratings. He, however, applauded government on the drafting of the Access to Information Bill. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Vinduk.